Hi folks, it's Steve with eXp Realty. And with all of this uncertainty going on right now, this polarizing election, the pandemic still in place, Sean Connery just passed away. Bond. James Bond. With all of that going on, I just bought two properties. So why would I do that? Watch this video to find out why. Hi folks, it's Steve and welcome back to the video blog. Thank you for watching. So I was not joking. I recently bought two properties in the past 45 days with all of these shenanigans going on in the world. And I'm extremely confident in both purchases. So I want to take you through the process used for both properties because they're very different. One is a personal property in which I live in. And the other one is merely just an investment. But both of them are huge decisions. So I want to take you through the mental checklist that I put in place and the process that I use to get pretty good deals on both of them. So first and foremost, let's start with the primary. So searching for this home, we had to agree on certain variables, meaning my wife and myself. Now, we are both able to work remotely. For the most part, I'm working quite often remotely. Um, she's not working in the city right now, but she will eventually go back. So we took into account a few variables. The first one was how far were we willing to be from where we'll have to go back to work at some point in time. Second one was, what is a school district that we would like our kids to be in? Or what are the top school districts that we would like to look at? And then the last one is, how much can we afford? So let's go on to the strategy that I use in order to get a great deal on that house. So first off, I can't stress enough, you have to be pre-approved if you're gonna start this process. You gotta know how much you can afford, but also work with a great local lender because what happened to me could happen to you as well. So I was locked and loaded, we were ready to go. I had my pre-approval ready. I made an offer within the hour at that price that they were reducing to. We went into contract. If they had reduced the price and held an open house, it would have went way over asking. I'm confident of that. And so I ended up getting a great price on it, way less than what I was actually willing to pay but it's because we were ready. We knew where we wanted to live. It was a school, school district that worked for our family. It fit in our budget and we had everything lined up. So that's the process I would recommend to you. Now, let's go to the other property. I think the one that's more interesting is the investment property. Again, with all that's going on, you know, the stock market is all over the place right now. And Sean Connery passed away. I have to bring that back up. Talk about uncertainty. I mean, really 2020, James Bond, you had to take, you had to take Mr. Bond from us. So with all this uncertainty going on, I'm actually really confident in that investment I made in Hudson County, which overall is not really a market that's very hot right now. So I wanna take you through the process that I used. And if you follow my video blog, you'll know that I live in the data. I do market data reports every single month. And so I'm looking at this data, I'm disseminating what's important and really extracting which towns and micro markets are on the upswing while other ones are on the downswing. And while everybody is kind of looking towards the suburbs, um, and even past that, there's a great article about something called a Zoom town, which is an area outside of the suburbs, in which people find more space than what they were looking for, for less than what their budget was, and it's significantly further from their job than they originally anticipated. Those markets are booming right now, but how long are those markets gonna be booming? And how long are people going to be attracted there once this pandemic is over? Because, you know, as I've said before, the youth is always going to be looking towards where the action's at. And listen, Hudson County, New York City, that's where all the bars are, the restaurants, the nightlife. Do you think that when this pandemic is over and all these lockdowns are lifted, that the youth isn't going to want to go back to where the party's at? I don't think so. Exactly. So... I'm actually more concerned about those markets. I don't know if I would in invest in those markets, but when I look at the market data report, I look at which ones are performing and one sticks out to me more than the others. I don't think it's very difficult to see Bergen Lafayette, that's where people wanna be right now. And the reason why is because it gives you most of what you can get in the suburbs without having to move too far. It's got the outdoor space, it has the extra bedrooms, it has room for an office, and lets people also have an additional unit downstairs for rental income, or if they wanna keep it to themselves right now because of COVID, they can have just family stay down there. There's just so many options with that property. Now, secondly, I also took into account, is this a property that I would wanna keep long-term because we're looking at it as a flip? 
The answer is yes, I would keep this long term. Let's say the market pulls back and it doesn't get the price in which we needed to sell, would totally like to keep this property um, and maybe forever. Which leads me to the last point in terms of the strategy for investment. Don't overextend yourself. I only invested as much as I could afford without really having a risk of financial stress. So listen, if you have any questions, call, text, or email. I hope this was helpful for you, the process that I'm using here. And I'm happy to share it with you and guide you through it. Our market is going to come back. Hudson County is going to be roaring and hot, just as it was before. Uh, but we need this pandemic to go away. We all need to participate together. Um, do that show, social distancing. Wear your masks. If you don't have to be in, in gathering spaces, stay out of there. But I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.